What's up guys, it's Jim again. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your front brake discs and pads on your Citroen C1. Let's get started. First off, when doing any brake work to any of your cars, you should always remove the brake reservoir cap so it doesn't have an excess build up of pressure in there and end up blowing your cylinder. I'm going to remove both wheels, I'm only going to show you one side though, and I'm going to turn the disc so that you can see what we're doing. You're going to need your 13mm spanner or ratchet to undo the slider bolt at the bottom. And once we've undone and removed that, we can then proceed to use our lever bar to just lever the bottom up gently, enable us to swing the caliper up and expose our pads. Then grab your massive grips and evenly push back the caliper piston. Now we can pull out the old pads. These pads weren't that warm but the discs were below the limit, that's why we're changing them. And then pull off the pad guides, the old ones, because the new pads will come with new ones. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wiggle the top slider out so we can rest the caliper on the other side of the hub. Don't just let the caliper dangle because it's very bad for your brake lines. And grab your 18mm socket and undo the caliper carrier rear bolts and remove the caliper carrier. Once that's done you're going to need to remove the disc retaining screw. To do that you're going to need an impact driver and a T30 Torx part. Give it a good smack with a hammer. Uh, it may need a couple of taps if it's stiff and unwind it and take it off. Your disc might be a bit stubborn and not want to come off, just give the rear face of it a smack with your hammer. There we go, the disc's removed, and now it's removed, we're going to copper grease the hub to stop the new disc seizing on there. And we're also going to check that both discs are exactly the same before fitting the new disc. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to put the new disc back on to the hub and put that retaining screw back in. And then grab your copper grease and just copper grease the face of the disc where the alloy sits as well. Grab your caliper carrier and a wire brush and we're going to clean the carrier where the pads sit, clean it of all the dirt and loose rust. I'm just going to nip these up slightly with the gun and then I'm going to torque the caliper carrier bolts. The torque setting for these 18mm bolts is 90 newton meters. Next up you're going to grab your bag of new pad guides and we're going to fit those. Alright so grab your new pads and your copper grease and what we're going to do is we're going to copper grease the pads where they sit inside the pad guides. Uh, you only need to copper grease these parts, don't plaster the whole thing in copper grease, that's not going to help anything. And then just fit the pads inside your pad guides. Alright, with the new pads in we can now refit the caliper, push that back in the slider, uh, make sure the rub is correctly located around it so water can't get in, and uh, push it down, 
grabby new bolt that comes in the pack and we're going to put that in and once we've nipped it up with our ratchet we're then going to grab our torque wrench and torque it to 13 newton meters uh, once we've done that we may as well change the top slider bolt as well That's it guys, now all that we've got left to do is to put the wheel back on and torque the wheel nuts up to 100 newton meters. Now remember before you jump in and try and drive away or start the vehicle, remember to give the brake pedal a good couple of pumps uh, to push that caliper piston back out otherwise you won't have a brake pedal. So pump it back out, make sure your brake pedal feels nice and normal and obviously refit your brake caliper reservoir cap as well. Well that's it for today's video guys, hope you found that useful, it's helped you out. If it has, subscribe, there's new videos each week, even if you just want to watch it to learn something. Uh, hit that like if it has helped you and feel free to comment below. I'll see you all guys in the next one. Peace.